Hello everyone, my name is Kieran and welcome to the fourth episode of the Everton career mode. In this episode, we're going to be playing two games, one in the Capital One Cup and one in the Barclays Premier League. As you can see by this table, we are currently sixth, played five games and we have won um, three of them, which is not too bad for Everton standards and we've got ten points as well. So, Barclay did get a red card in that last game, which did mean that we had to swap him out for Stephen Naismith and... Um, after that, we got a pretty standard team. We did also have to swap out Tim Howard for Jack Butland because um, I thought that Howard had played the last three or two or three games, so I decided to give Butland a chance. But apart from that, nothing much changed. We got McGeady, Lukaku, Berahino. Um, I think that is uh, Morales. We got some really good players still in that team um, going into Swansea because Swansea, let me tell you, are a very good side indeed. And as they show in the first bit of this game when they linked up and Sigurdsson had a good shot saved by Butland and nearly going into the roof of the net was um, John Joe Shelby's shot which just missed out on the goal but it was half time after that nothing much happened in that first half there were a few chances but nothing really highlight worthy so I mean, we weren't really penetrating that well, and they weren't, so I decided to bring on a bit more pace. So I brought on Aaron Lennon from McGeady, who wasn't having the best of games, so I decided to give him a bit of a rest. But there he is, Aaron Lennon, and as you'll see, he's about to make a very big impact as Swansea come on the attack here, and it goes out for a corner kick. And, well, basically, um, Jack Butland comes out and claims the ball and we are very good at counter-attacking so he throws out to Lukaku a bullet header across the pitch and then as you can see Berahino's pace just absolutely outdoes the Swansea defence they are standing still they are running through custard Berahino the struck and Aaron Lennon the man who we subbed on just 10 minutes before this has slotted in the goal into the corner Berahino did most of the work but Aaron Lennon was there in the right place at the right time and did what he was asked to do but there's the Everton fans behind the goal very happy indeed and so are the Everton players as you can see no and the Swansea players not getting near him I wish the shot was a bit better it would have been great for him to get a good solo goal but still Aaron Lennon mopping up and doing the business as requested and we go on to another attack here with Sider Berry here playing it to Aaron Lennon who is also very skillful indeed. He goes inside the defender, cuts inside, passes it to Berry Hino and gets another goal. I mean, the pass was absolutely stunning, to be honest. To pick him out perfectly at the back post was a, was a great feat indeed. And Berry Hino getting his first goal, I do believe, for Everton. A header from one of the smallest players on the pitch. He's not too strong either, but... He is very, very quick indeed. And then we do get one final attack. And you may think, how do I miss this? I'm through on goal. I could sweaty it, but I tried not to. I went for the near post and it just didn't work out for me. Which well, left egg on my face. Um, but still, Delefeu tries to whip in a ball. And it comes out to Lukaku, but he is offside or something happened. It might have been a handball, I think. But there's a bit of pinball in our box, Swansea, um, working the ball. Um, in our box and just trying to get a shot off and Britain did get one off but P rolled out. Lukaku trying to whip in a ball, sorry that's Lennon trying to whip in a ball and uh, it, well after he kicks it, it's full time so 2-0, very good win away at Swansea City um, we, we're showing that we can really contend with the top clubs in England um, Fabianski did his best, he couldn't keep out Berahino and Lennon um, I might use Lennon a bit more because he was a very good player in this game, so I might think about him more on the right-hand side instead of McGeady. But 2-0, um, and as you can see by the stats, they had more possession, but we definitely got most of the chances. So after that game, we also got an international management offer from Chile, which I did decide to take just because... They really are a good team with some very good quality players such as Vidal and Vargas and Bravo from Barcelona, don't forget him. But we do go into our next game in this episode against a Camp Capital One Cup side. Um, and so we have changed up the team, we've got Ledson in there as well um, to go to play this game. Now his first appearance for us 
Um, and are we wearing our white kit, giving our white kit a bit of a debut? I think it was against Brentford, and they started the better team, but there was something which I didn't get. I mean, I couldn't have prevented that at all. There is no way in hell I would have been able to get out of the way. Matthew Pennington does end up picking up a yellow card for this, but look, he runs straight into me, and I just get bundled to the ground, and I can't do much about that. Um, but their player steps up and easily tucks the penalty, it's a good penalty to be honest, into the top um, of the net. And they do take a 1-0 advantage in this game very early on indeed, which um, didn't really suit us that well. But still, um, we, we couldn't have saved that anyway. Um, but we, it does um, end, it, does, it, does, it is 1-0 um, to Brentford and... Um, we were, I think it was it was inevitable that we would come back stronger in this game and we were going to absolutely kick some ass. But before that, um, it was a deflected shot, a good um, block by, um, I, I'm not sure who that was, um, a deflected sort of um, shot which Butland did very well to save but we can't the other end and um, we pick up the ball here, Ledson comes in, gets fouled there but Lacone um, gets the ball into the goal eventually and scores his first goal of this game his first goal because there might will be many more for Kone so he celebrates very well and it's good of awareness from the striker to know where the ball's gonna fall out and he was right there Johnny on the spot to put that in to the goal for 1-1 to equalize against Brentford and it's happened to us again we in the last Caps 1 Cup game um, I, I seem to remember we were down 1-0, um, but that was half time, the two goals in that half sort of were the main features of it, um, but we went straight into the second half and Brentford came on the attack here, played it back and that would have been a lovely finish, Butler had to make sure, I think he was going wide, but it was a nice volley, stood up for him. At, at the edge of the box and he just fluffed it but Butland comes out again and claims it very well indeed and will throw it out and again we have a breakaway from one of Butland's throws and and his, his hand thing guys is very very good indeed and Runa Kone flying as, as well as Barry Hinder but this time he can score with ease fantastic finish from Runa Kone and that's just what he does best he's a very very good player for what you get him for and he's, he's all he's like 30 years old or something and he's got the pace of a gazelle he's flew past the breadth of defense that's a great finish as well hasn't lost his finishing touch but Kone has got two goals in this game and that wasn't the end of it we played it to Barkley here you can play it out to Kone again who is onside made a lovely run and his shot is saved by the keeper but in to the roof of the net it bounces and it's 3-1 Kone gets a hat trick and we're not even into the 80th minute of the game great play by Kone holding his run and the finish could have been a bit better but the keeper helped it in on its way and we were 3-1 up and from here we were not going to lose the game so that saw us safely through um, into the Capital One Cup but uh, the goal fest was not done there at all Kone very happy for him because haven't been playing him a lot and I think he's just shown a case why he might be able to be played in the Premier League instead of just a Capital One Cup player which he is at the moment but we, uh, in the 90th minute we do get another attack Barkley coming down this um, left hand side Kone unselfishly plays it to Ledson who has a strike saved by the keeper and um, we're still not done he comes out to Osman, Osman cuts inside whips in a ball here, no he doesn't just tr trolled you he does he does he, tri he tricked me as well uh, he did a roulette part of the vendors cuts inside unleashes a amazing strike leon osman at the age of i don't know like 30 32 he unleashes something which i would be proud to see from a youngster um a an upcoming youngster that was amazing the roulette he did oh that was just fantastic and it put us 4-1 up so a very commanding performance for us in this last game of the episode um, and I was very happy about that and that indeed was full time and the game was won really after we scored that third goal um, for Anaruna Kone got that but as I said guys that's going to be the end of the episode um, we did 
win this game and we are through to I think it's like the fourth round of the Capital One Cup. Um, here are the player ratings. As you see, Aruna Kona getting a 9.8 rating and getting three goals as well, and um, Ledson getting an assist in this game. But thank you guys for watching episode four of the Everton Career Mode. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you guys later.